de Atlanta, nos Estados Unidos. Canção Nova Web Rádio. Comunicando vidas nações. Because one of the favorite things that you do, and Father C was the one that pointed out to me, honest God, and he says you've got to hear this, is when you do Catholic radio. Uh, we call it traditional, traditional Catholic, Catholic traditional <laughs> old-fashioned Catholic radio. Yes, I mean because there's a truth to that. I just see these people take themselves too seriously. It drives me crazy. And to me, I mean, I think, you know, when, when it comes to humor, I've got a sarcastic sense of humor. Mm -hmm. It can be called mean-spirited. It can be said a lot of things. I do self-deprecating. I make jokes about myself. I make jokes about you. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't yet, but I will as soon, as, will. As, soon sure as I leave. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I make jokes. I make jokes about everything. That's I, great. Yeah. I, not to be mean, but I, I laugh about things. But now sometimes I, I intentionally might uh, take a poke, might, might mm -hmm. take a jab at some things in the church that I'll do, I'll use it with humor, but it has a very serious point. And uh, so when I make fun of old fashioned Catholic radio, it's not to make fun of the people. Many of the people are my friends, but it's to say, I'm not interested in losing another couple generations of people to Catholicism. I'm not interested in them not being a part of the church. I'm not interested in them getting turned off to religion. And so if it means making fun of the very people who I think are turning a 20-some-year-old or a teenager off to religion, as long as I'm doing it in good-natured fun, oh, I got no problem making fun of everybody mm -hmm. if it's going to attract some 15-year-old kid to say, well, you know what? That, that okay, so much of Catholic media is geared towards old people and it's geared towards serious, devout old people. That's right. That's well, I don't mind old people. I like old people. My mom's an old person. My dad's an old person. I love my parents. You'll be one someday. Oh, please. I'll <laughs> have a heart attack before then. <laughs> But if I'm 15 years old, now I'm, I'm worried about, well, what about the 17-year-old kid? Yeah. What about that 12-year-old yeah. kid? They're not getting attracted to this stuff. That's right. What's going to excite them? Well, you know what might excite them? Their parents making them listen to my show, me making fun of old-fashioned Catholic radio, mm -hmm. and them going, I know my, my parents probably don't want me to be laughing at this as much as I am, yeah. but if Lino's making fun of it, he's telling me it's okay to laugh mm -hmm. without being mean, but still laugh. Uh, Consal Nova has um, a whole ministry where that's what they do. It's always positive message. They have these concerts that they give, their shows, and the Portuguese word for shows is shows. So, <laughs> <laughs> so they say, vai apresentar um show hoje. And uh, so they have these shows with these singers. They have their own record label and everything else. Wow. Yeah. So that's why I, I look at that and say, this is exactly what I see coming out of Brazil. And then I go to the U U.S. and it's all... You know, did you see that father, you know, was supposed to hold the host 7.3 inches above the, the chalice, and it was 7.1 inches. That is a disgrace. Well, Brazilians are more fun than Americans. Yes, they are. I mean, look at Carnival. I yes. mean, what else do you need to see? I mean, uh, the reason why this past World Youth Day was the greatest World Youth Day that'll ever, ever happen is because of Brazil. Sure. There's just Absolutely. no other way to get around it. I was talking to this uh, girl two days ago now. 21-year-old college student, she said, oh, Lino, are you going to World Youth Day in Poland in a couple of years? I said, you know, I will. I've been to Poland. Beautiful country, great people. There's going to never, ever be a World Youth Day like that was what's experienced in, in Brazil. Brazil. Yeah. And I think that there's something very healthy about that, and there's something that Americans need to learn. So, you know, Absolutely. Americans, we have this puritanical, evangelical, something that happened from 100 years ago or some way of seeing Christianity, and uh, I don't have my Brazilian history probably down the way I should, but I don't think they were influenced that way, and they're ready to have fun. Yes. Oh, no, that's true. They haven't, uh, they haven't had a war since the early 1800s. Jeez, are you serious? I'm dead serious. Yeah. Get with the program. Hurry up. Though, but, Hurry up. Uh, <laughs>